Hello, this is Tom Harper with Avidyne, and today we're going to talk about Vantage 12 upgrade for your Cirrus. Give a little update on what's going on with the Vantage program. We'll do an overview of the Vantage 12 product for those of you that aren't familiar. We'll talk about what the standard configuration includes. We'll talk about the ADC and MAG number 2 option, and talk about installation options, and then panel and overlay options. 2023 pricing, and then there's a, a frequently asked questions we'll go through. So let's get rolling. We introduced Vantage as an upgrade for Cirrus aircraft with Integra that were installed from the factory from late 2002 to about mid 2008. And we wanted to provide those aircraft owners with an upgrade to bigger glass. It's 12.1 inch diagonal XGA glass. They get a 3D synthetic vision. They'll have dual attitude reference sensors so that we'll have full reversionary mode when coupled with the DFC-90 autopilot. A digital air data computer and there is the option for the number two air data computer as well. The PFD is designed as a dedicated PFD function similar to Integra, so it would flatten the learning curve as you transition from Integra to Vantage 12. And we designed Vantage 12 to be compatible with all the different configurations of those Cirruses in that family. So, so SR20s, SR22s, uh, with primary engines, without, so you know, SIU, DIU, and tightly integrated with the DFC-90 Digital Autopilot and the IFD series. On the PFD side, we have the egocentric synthetic vision. This gives you color contour 3D terrain with traffic, obstacles. The PFD is very clean design, designed to reduce workload. Hybrid touch, which means you've got knobs and buttons to control the, the heading bug and the, uh, the barrel and vertical speed, airspeed bugs. But you can also do them using the touch screen as well, which is kind of cool. And it also will revert to standard blue over brown, so you can do uh, uh, primary training if you choose. It'll look a lot more like the old Integra. And then on the MFD side, we've got the plan view moving map, pilot selectable base map, so you'll have the color contour terrain map like you see here, or you can turn it just to a black base map. Or uh, we've got a new feature of VFR uh, charts, which we'll show you. Again, overlaying ADSB weather and traffic or XM if that's what's in your airplane. Uh, configurable data blocks down the side here so you can set those up the way you like them. And support for engine instruments as you see here. Here's the engine instrument page. We tried to keep it very similar to what the presentation is on the Integra, including lean assist and all those features, electrical system monitoring, and again, it'll support SIU and DAU equipped aircraft. So if you have an SIU in the airplane today, you'll install Vantage and you'll still keep your SIU. If you have a DAU, then the Vantage will support that and you'll have primary engines on the PFD. The MFD does support Jefferson electronic approach charts and airport diagrams with their geo reference. So you can, the airplane will fly over the chart and you can zoom in and out. On the, on the screen. I mentioned the base map is, um, as the option for VFR charts. So if you're in a north up display, you can select VFR chart and now get a, uh, basically a scan sectional, if you will, that you can again put your own ship in your flight plan over the top of and fly. The MFD also supports split screen. So now you can have a full map plus your flight plan on the MFD. So it gives you like a trip page like you're used to on your Integra. But it also allows flight plan creation and editing right on the MFD. So you can see here, I've got a flight plan up. I've got the sectional chart on the left. But I can load the approach, edit the approach, go direct to, activate right from the big screen. It'll drive down and slave off your uh, IFDs in the central console which they're actually doing the navigating, but this becomes a, an additional place to do that data entry. Here we're in flight, uh, uh, editing the flight plan as we speak here. So nice big QWERTY keyboard right up on the screen if you like, or you can do it on the IFDs. 
in reversionary mode, if you were to lose your PFD, that's been a big sticking point in the Integra is if you lost the PFD, you lost the autopilot and it was uh, you would hand fly or fly off the bolster. Uh, with Vantage, we've got dual attitude reference sensors. If you lose the PFD, it automatically switches. Your MFD looks exactly like your PFD, so you can continue to fly without disconnecting the autopilot, and you can fly right through a, any kind of a backup situation with no loss of autopilot function, so makes it nice. Again, if you're on a single MFD and you want split screen, you can't have your PFD and your MFD up at the same time, which makes it nice, or your charts or your engines. The standard configuration for Vantage for Cirrus includes a Vantage 12 PFD and an MFD, each of which have an integrated attitude reference sensor. There's a single air data computer, which is mounted on the back of the PFD, or you can mount it elsewhere, it, and it uses the existing single magnetometer left in the airplane from Integra, which feeds both attitude reference sensors. You'll need dual IFDs in the airplane, so whether it's if you see here, I've got my little pointer here, you've got dual IFD 440s, or you can have a 5 series IFD and a 4 series IFD. In which case, you got to find a home for the transponder, and we have a couple of different remote transponder options just to make everything fit. We have an AMX240 audio panel. You can use the existing audio panel if you choose. It's not required to change. The dual IFDs are required. The transponder is not required to change. If you have a ADSB transponder already, Avanine offers an AXP340, or we've got the remote mount transponders. So. And then you will need the DFC90. This is a bit of an eye chart, but you can see the uh, block diagram shows the PFD and the MFD, each of which have an integrated attitude reference sensor. There's an external air data computer that feeds both, and the external magnetometer, the one that's in the air, currently in the airplane today. Audio panel, dual IFDs, autopilot, uh, there's a, the autopilot relay, which is already there, D data acquisition unit, or SIU, and then your, whatever other sensors are in the airplane, traffic system, transponder, and then XM, if you have that. That gives you everything you need. It's, it's a nice, quick change out system. Some folks wanted to have a dual air data and dual mag just to totally eliminate any kind of potential for single point failure. So we decided to offer the second air data computer and second magnetometer as a paid option. Uh, it adds $9,500 to your cost, but now you're going to mount a second air data computer on the back of your MFD, and uh, you'll have to run a, a second mag out to the wing. So it makes it a little more intrusive installation, but not horrible. And again, here now you can see we've added a second air data and a second mag to the block diagram here. For installation options, one of the things we looked at is what's the complexity and how can we make it as easy as possible to make an installation that converts your existing Integra airplane to a Vantage 12 airplane. And, of course, the most complex would be to have the dealers cut off the connectors on the Integra and repin them into different connectors and reroute wires and do some things like that, um, which is, again, very time-consuming and creates more potential for uh, inducing uh, wiring errors and makes it tougher to troubleshoot down the road, perhaps. Uh, less complex, but still co somewhat complex, would be having an adapter harness with some level of integral wiring, rewiring needing to be done. And finally, what we came up with was this, what we consider the easiest solution that we're uh, looking to offer our, our, our customers is Avidine's Vantage Easy Adapters and Simplified Easy Adapter Harness. So we developed a Vantage harness that allows us to adapt to the existing Integra harness connectors in the, in the airplane. But there's still a bunch of other extra connections that have to get made and pins move from one connector out into another connector and those sort of things. And it can get pretty complicated. So we're going to offer this adapter harness, which does that. But we're also offering what we call an easy adapter modules. And you'll see these bolt right on the back of the Vantage 12 displays. And these are exclusive to the Cirrus that has Integra. But for Vantage 12, 
these ad easy adapters just mount right to the back of the display that allows the adapter harnesses and, and those connectors to plug right to each other and it reroutes all the, the wiring and makes the adapter harness way less complex and complicated. So this is a really clean way of getting from Integra to Vantage 12 with easy harness and the easy adapters you see here. And the, of course the adapter harnesses are picking up all the MFD wiring for incoming 232 and 429 traffic weather ADSB. WX500 storm scope, your engine data from your SIU or your DAU, and then you've got your mag wiring to the PFD, uh, any 429 transmit stuff out to the air data transponders, etc., making it a much cleaner installation. And then we also are offering panel and overlay options here. In this picture, I just wanted to show here's a Vantage 12 in one side and the, the, the existing Integra. So you can see there's a significant amount more screen area uh, with the Vantage 12, which will really be nice in that Cirrus airplane. And the MFD will still be canted at like 11 degrees. It will require a pa the panel change, but the glare shield won't have to be modified. So it literally is only uh, maybe a quarter or a half inch taller, but uh, we designed the, the and prefabbed all the panels and then there are a bunch of panel overlay options that allow us to uh, adapt for these aircraft by serial numbers. So it'll make it easy for your shop to uh, order the proper parts to make the conversion. Uh, we wanted to make it kind of a turnkey offering so that uh, there's some consistency in expediting the ability to get the installation done. As far as pricing, uh, you're familiar with the 2023 pricing, which is 33K. And again, that's the standard um, Vantage ship kit will include a PFD and MFD, your dual ARS. It'll include an air data computer, which will be on the back of the PFD. It'll be your installation kit, mounting kit, and all the documentation. That'll be the standard kit, what you get for 33K. And then the, here's the easy adapters and harness. So there's an easy adapter on the back of the MFD. There's one on the back of the PFD. And then there's the wiring harness. So the, that $2,100 will cover all that. And that'll save a ton of time for the dealer uh, to manufacture all that harnessing themselves. Uh, the nice thing, we've talked to several dealers. And, and one of the things that we think will be nice with the easy adapter harness is the consistency from one airplane to the next. If you go to a Cirrus service center that didn't do your installation and you've got this easy adapter and harness, they will be very familiar with the wiring and will be able to troubleshoot that much quicker for you. It, we think that will be really helpful and valuable in keeping those airplanes flying long term. Uh, there's an additional ADC MAG2 kit, which is $9,500, and that includes the second air data computer, the second MAG. It includes the dual mag bracket that will go out in the wing to replace the single mag bracket out on the right wing. Uh, and there will be an extra pigtail harness in that kit to interface to the existing adapter harness. That, here's the panel and hardware kit. Again, if not required, the dealer can sell you a panel themselves. And the six different panel overlays that we offer. As far as frequently asked questions, do I need to upgrade to uh, IFDs to Vantage? You will need to have IFDs in the airplane for Vantage. Uh, does Vantage work 12 work with the s -Tech? No, you do need a DFC-90. Is it plug and play with my existing panel? Specifically, no, but we do offer the easy adapters and the easy harness. That's going to make it much less complex. Does Vantage 12 have touch screens? You bet. Yes, it's 12.1 inch diagonal. Big, nice touch screens right there. Uh, but there are knobs and buttons as well, so it'll give you that hybrid touch user interface like you have with your IFD, so you'll have a consistency across the entire flight deck. Will Vantage provide primary engine monitoring? Yes, if your aircraft already has primary engines. In other words, if it has a DAU, then Vantage will have primary engines. If it has an SIU, then Vantage will adapt to SIU and not have primary engines. And there's some options out there for the uh, company that makes Emacs Plus that converts an SIU and gives you some of the features of a DAU, and Vantage will support that as well. So 
Do I need to install a new engine interface and probes? Again, no, Vantage is designed to work with whatever's in the airplane today. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on extra engine monitors and probes and all that where it can really drive the cost up. Will there be a replacement to the DAU and SIU? There's nothing to announce currently for uh, any replacements. What are the Jefferson subscriptions associated with Vantage? Again, there'll be a basic data subscription for the entire flight deck uh, that'll do nav data charts for your IFDs for your Vantage and it will be a total subscription and uh, package price. How much retraining is required for when you move from Integra to Vantage? Vantage retains a lot of the ease of use that we built into the Integra. So if you're familiar with Integra, the transition is going to be relatively seamless. The PFD is a dedicated uh, PFD. It doesn't have a, a lot of extra other modes in it so that it'll behave as a PFD and you're familiar with how the MFD operates. So we think, we think you'll find it very instinctive and simplified to minimize head downtime and transition time. How much panel work's involved? I talked a little bit about this already. It's a matter of swapping the, uh, the ignition and the little uh, enunciator panel, uh, the knobs and stuff for your air conditioning, glove box, engines if you have them, engine instruments. We'll offer six different overlays to make it a nice, clean-looking panel. And again, some dealers may offer custom overlays for you. Do I still need to keep the blind-mounted STEC turn coordinator that's currently required with Integra? It's technically required with the DSC-90 as part of the original DSC-90 STC. But once you put Vantage in, that STC will allow you to pull that turn coordinator. I know a lot of you are going to be happy to hear that. So it's a blind mounted turn coordinator. It was originally in the original STC because it was used as a comparator for the single ARS, but now we've got dual ARS and uh, we can actually get that taken out. What AVOS software revision do I my IFDs need to be in? They're going to need to be at AVOS 10.3.2.2. So that release is not done yet, but that's the next uh, release of IFD software, and that will also be what you need to interface to Vantage. What traffic systems work with Vantage? Whatever traffic systems you have in the airplane today, Vantage will work with. So if it works with Integra MFD, it'll work with Vantage. So that includes your Skywatch, your TAS 600, your Skytrax 600, Skytrax, and then some bunch of your ADSB, like your GTX 345 transponder. What happens to my remaining Aeroplan extended warranty on my Integra? If you have any Integra warranty on, uh, on your Integra PFDs and MFD, any of that remaining warranty, we're going to transfer on to the standard two-year warranty of your Vantage and extend it out. So you'll still get credit for that. What if I have an R9 system? Is it upgradable to Vantage 12? The current Vantage system is designed as an upgrade for the earlier Integra, and there's no R9 trade-in at this time. When will Vantage 12 be available for my aircraft? Certification for Vantage 12 for the Integra and the Cirrus, we're expecting it's going to be early 2024 at this point. So we're moving things along and flight test is going well, but it's kind of moving to the right some more, so... That's the current plan of record. When will Vantage be available outside the U.S.? The first certifications of Vantage will be in in-registered aircraft. It will be an FAA STC. A lot of the aircraft in Europe are still in-registered and they will be eligible. We're going to do that STC first and then we'll look at uh, all the reciprocal STC approvals for other countries. What if I have a KGP 560 enhanced ground procs? Vantage won't display enhanced ground procs, and we're going to ask that that be pulled out. It's required that it needs to be pulled out. So you will have terrain alerting and forward-looking terrain alerting capability, which are TAS functions as part of your IFDs and your Vantage. You can sell your KGP 560 or trade barter and trade with the dealer as part of reducing the cost of your installation. Uh, if you need a TSO TAS, 
for whatever reason, which it's not required in that class of aircraft. But if you'd like to have TSO TAWS and you have a KGP 560 today, we have a TSO TAWS version for the IFD 5 series that we will uh, upgrade you to in exchange for your KGP 560. So that's an $8,000 value. Again, not required in that class of airplane. You'll still get all the capability with the IFDs. Uh, but if you if you want the certified TSO, uh, we can we can upgrade you that way. An IFD five series will be required for the TSO TAWS. Where can I buy Vantage Twelve? Vantage is being sold by Avidine's authorized dealers, and they must be the installing dealer. So uh, that's the best way. Feel free to reach out to Avidine, and we'll help you find a dealer near you. Can reservations be made now, and how? Yes, if you purchase an IFD or a DFC between now and the initial ship date of Vantage 12, uh, we will give you a, a, a reservation. You'll get a slot in line. And we kind of encourage our customers to go ahead and get the IFDs and the DFC done now. That way, that's out of the way. And then when Vantage is available in the early part of next year, uh, then that conversion will be pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, there's... Now, if you have GNS 430s in the airplane, switching to IFDs is pretty pretty straightforward. There's a few extra wires you're going to want to add, but uh, that can be done now. Same with the DFC 90. Uh, there is an upgrade to the PFT Mod 55 if you get the DFC when you get the DFC 90, you'll want to do that. But if you get that out of the way, then the transition to Vantage later, kind of do it in two steps. But you get the learning curve of the IFDs. In the meantime, and the, and the improved user interface and ease of use and all that cool capability now rather than later. So, so that's the Vantage upgrade for the Cirrus. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to pilot support at avidine.com or marketing at avidine.com. That'll come to me. This is Tom Harper with Avidine. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a great day, and fly safe out there, everybody.